Picture this, you are sleeping peacefully when your watch gently vibrates. Not because someone's calling, but because it detected an irregular heartbeat that could save your life. This actually happened to a 35-year-old woman in Delhi. Her Apple Watch caught a serious heart condition before it became fatal. Welcome to the world of wearables, where a simple device on your wrist might know more about your health than you do. Hi, I am Dilip Kumar and welcome to the other side. Today, we are discussing wearables. Those small devices we wear on our wrist, fingers, or even our ears that are changing the way we take care of our health. We will cover why Indians are using wearables like never before, how these devices work, and how to decide which wearable to buy and what the future holds for your health. Whether you're thinking about your first fitness band or wondering if expensive smartwatches are worth, this episode will help you make the right choices. So, why wearables are taking off in India? Over 100 million Indians have diabetes. Nearly 200 million of us live with high blood pressure and lifestyle diseases are becoming the norm, not the exception. In this environment, wearables with the most advanced technology aren't simple nice-to-have gadgets anymore. More. They are early warning systems. The Delhi woman I mentioned earlier, her watch detected an unusually high heart rate and alerted her to seek immediate medical help. The doctors discovered a serious heart condition that could have been fatal if ignored. Which leads me to the next question. How do these devices know all of this? Put simply, your smart wearables have these tiny sensors built inside. Think of them as these mini detectors. The heart rate sensor shines a small light through your skin and watches your blood flow. When your heart beats, the pattern of your blood flow changes and the sensor detects that. For step count, there's a motion detector that tracks when you move. For sleep, it combines your movement patterns with heart rate to figure out if you have a quality sleep. What is that? Deep sleep, light sleep and REM sleep or you're just awake. All this information goes into your software that learns your patterns over time. So instead of just saying your heart rate is 80, it might just say your heart rate is higher than usual for this time of the day. Maybe take a pause or relax. As more people use these devices, the software will get smarter. One day, your wearable might understand your health patterns as well as your own doctor who have been knowing you for years. So now you know how wearables work. Now let's understand how to choose the right wearable for yourself. Before you get lost in this universe of features and prices, ask yourself one simple question. What problem am I trying to solve by using a wearable? Start with your health needs. If you just want to move more and sleep better, a basic fitness band around 2000 to 3000 will do just the job. You will get step counting, sleep tracking, and basic heart rate monitoring that's accurate enough for general lifestyle wellness. Battery life matters more than you think. Some devices need charging every single day. Others last a week. Choose your wearable based on how long and how frequently you want to use it. Comfort is important. You may be wearing this 24 by 7. That means through your sleep, during a workout, or even in your shower. If it's too bulky, feels heavy, you may stop using it altogether. So choose something that you won't mind wearing all the time. You can choose between a ring, watch, or even a wristband match it to your lifestyle. Consider what activities you actually do. If you swim regularly, make sure it's waterproof, not just water resistant. If you run outside, GPS might be worth that extra cost. But don't pay for features you are never going to use. Buy from brands with great after-sales services. When it breaks, and it eventually will, you will need someone to come and fix it for you. And one final tip, whatever you buy, use it for at least three to four weeks before judging its value. The real insights come from patterns, not individual readings. Your device might show that you sleep poorly every Sunday night, or that your stress spikes during specific meetings. That's when wearables become genuinely useful and add more value to being just a fancy step counter. So Dilip, what wearables do you use? Well, personally, I use a ring, a smartwatch, sometimes even a band. But maybe I'll create another video about the universe of wearables I use. Now, before you rush to buy your wearable, let's discuss a few challenges you need to be aware of. By the way, about 30% of people eventually stop using their wearables. The reason is that the constant notification and the data becomes noisy instead of being helpful. A notification like your heart rate variability is low or your sleep quality was not good enough can cause anxiety issues to some people. This is a time you may want to seek expert help to interpret your wearable data. The good news is that many of these issues can be managed by from trusted brands 
with good reviews. Customize your notifications to reduce your noise before connecting your devices, especially if that's something that bothers you. So, what's the future? The future of wearables look incredibly exciting. Mental health is one of those areas where wearables are starting to make a real difference. Devices like your Fitbit Sense can detect when your stress levels spike and suggest breathing exercises. Some new devices are being tested to identify early signs of anxiety or depression through changes in your movement patterns, sleep, and your daily routines. Invisible monitoring is coming. Smart rings are already popular because they track everything without looking obvious. Soon, we might even have health sensors built into glasses, clothing, or even temporary skin patches. Predictive health is the future. Imagine your device is telling you based on your sleep and heart patterns, you might be getting sick in two, three days. Before you feel any symptoms, this may be a good time to pause and relax. Here's what I find most exciting. Wearables are uniquely positioned to help with what really matters for better health span. Longevity is 80% lifestyle choices and 20% medical interventions. Most health solutions focus on the 20% that is the pills, procedures, and treatments. But wearables could help you with the remaining 80% by tracking your sleep, movement, and stress so that now you have the data to fix what is broken. Imagine a future where your device gently wakes you at the perfect point in your sleep cycle. It reminds you to drink water as temperature rises in your city. It notices an unusual heart rhythm before you feel anything and quietly schedules a doctor's appointment. After a stressful meeting, it guides you through a five-minute breathing session. Over time, wearables could become your personal health coach that travels everywhere you go and tells you what to do when it matters the most. By the way, technology is just a tool. The most expensive smartwatch in the world can't help you if you don't prioritize your own health. Start simple and stay consistent. The real value isn't in collecting the data, it's in using the data to live better. Thanks for tuning in to The Other Side. If this helped you to think about variables differently, share it with someone who might benefit. Until next time, keep moving toward better health one smart step at a time.